Hi, welcome to Nareesh IT. This is Kishore, and now I'm going to discuss about this pointer in C++. Okay. Now the topic is this pointer. Now what is called this pointer, and why we need the this pointer? Actually, this pointer it is a new concept introduced in C++, and here this pointer is obviously used for this pointer is used for retrieving the object address okay generally in c language to find out the variable address what we are using ampersand symbol okay in c language to find out a variable address generally we are using ampersand which is also called address operator and in c++ also we can retrieve in c++ also we can retrieve or to know the current object address to know the current object address they have introduced uh, this pointer next not only that one this pointer another advantage is it is used to distinguish our data members from local variables when both are declared with the same name that means whenever our data members and function arguments member function arguments are declared with the same name okay the compiler is getting confusion what is the confusion which one is the data member which one is the argument that's why to avoid this problem to identify the data members we have to use this pointer and i will show you practically next next every non static member generally in c language or c++ we are having two types of members static members non static members and here every non static member of c++ is having the local variable called this okay and that means static variables or static members never contains the this and uh, okay this pointer returns the address by default in hexadecimal format okay now i will give you one practical example on this pointer okay how to use the this pointer in our programming just watch it hash include some io stream dot h next uh, hash include conio dot h now basically two header files we have declared now we are having two header files later class is declared suppose class test now it is the class test in class test we are having two different members i and t a comma b now these are the data members next in public area void show okay here i am going to access the variables like this a equal to 10 b equal to 20 and i want to print the object address this class object address then generally we are going to use c out object addresses okay ampersand generally what ampersand object name but here the problem is this one is conducted inside the member function inside the member function there is no object created no? then how it is created means how it is working that's why here i am going to write like this what is that this that's all now whenever this is used here this is a pointer no this one returns what the current object address now here this is returning the current object address that means whenever this object created this class object is created objects are what memory areas means variables variables compulsorily occupies what memory areas that's why that memory address is going to print here okay next not only that one to access the a and b we can use the this pointer how it is suppose and next suppose c out i want to print the a value using this pointer then a equal to this arrow mark a and and c out b equal to this arrow mark b 
now program closed. And now what happens is actually here only this is used when only this is used it returns the current class object address that is why here object address is printed next line a value a value is a is the member of a this class that is why this arrow mark a means current object a and b b equal to this object b means current object b means data members now this one is going to print the a value this one is going to print the b value okay next how to print this suppose main function now void main first of all we have to declare the object now then test t now t is the object created from test and t is stored somewhere in our memory now now i want to get that address then simply see out object address is okay here already object address i have given that is why directly do one thing okay t is the object now now directly call t dot okay function name is what show now get ch program finish one this function is called now the definition is executed a value becomes 10 b value becomes 20 now object address now it gives the t object address here in the form of hexadecimal format now it is going to print t object address at here in the form of hexadecimal format later this arrow mark a now a initialized with 10 you know, 10 printed later b value 20 printed it is how to access how to access the data members okay and uh, object address using the this pointer next not only this one this pointer is also used to distinguish the arguments and our data members now what it is local variables and data members how they are distinguished using this pointer now i will show you how to differentiate our data members from local variables okay just watch this example here class test two members are declared one is a one is b later i am going to use void show function same now this time i am going to use x comma int y now everybody knows they are called formal parameters later a equal to x b equal to y now what happened this x value copied into a this y value copied into b okay that is why no problem at all now suppose it is the main function void main now in this example what i am doing here watch it suppose first of all test t object created and later t dot show of 10 comma 20 now what happens 10 value passed to x and 20 value passed to y that is why x becomes 10 y becomes 20 that 10 passed to a 20 passed to b now there is no problem there is no specialty in this program now the situation is or now the issue is suppose you are using once again a here and b here okay listen carefully here suppose you are declaring the formal parameters with a and b now the problem starts suppose you are using a equal to a b equal to b uh, now here a equal to a b equal to b what happens a is which one this a is which one okay here already we know that in every program local variables have the first priority in every programming local variables are having the first priority that is why in this situation what happen our data members and arguments both are with declared with the same name our arguments and data members both are declared with same name now your compiler gives priority to local variables means uh, your compiler understands this a means this a this b means this b that means same value copy to same okay that means indirectly this a value copy to that a b value copy into that b means uh, they are not passed to this a and b because of their data members means class members these are the local variables which are having different blocks which are having different blocks means different areas memory also allocated 
it is giving that problem. Now, to solve this problem, okay, actually after execution of this program what happens? You are going to get garbage values. For example, here void display function name, here C out A next end S space and B. Now, the function closed class also. Suppose, I am going to call this function t dot display now get c h program close. Now, what happened display function is executed display what happens a value b value printed. Now, suppose in this situation a value not passed to this a b value not passed to this because of local variable system is recognizing that is why here data members are not recognized and without initialization their initial values are what that is garbage that is why t dot display gives garbage values. Now, it is a problem no? then how to solve this problem it is only simple solution just here you, you can able to write like this this arrow mark a this arrow mark b. Now, your compiler understands this a means uh, this class a and this a means uh, that is argument a okay this arrow mark a means this class a that is why this one and this a means uh, argument a same to same b also okay and now this one and this one copied into this a this b values are initialized your problem is solved and one more thing you can use this technique also here star this dot a okay here star this dot a and star this dot b same meaning okay here we can use arrow mark in c language also pointer to member access operator pointer to member that is why here star this dot a equal to a or star this dot b equal to b now both are giving the same that is why in this example whenever in this example whenever our local variables and data members local variables and data members are declared with the same name to distinguish or to identify our data members from that local variables just uh, preceded with this pointer now it is giving the data members data okay thank you for watching mm -hmm.